Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the unofficial Synergy Mode 13 build for the OnePlus One which is running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. This ROM is developed by the well-known XDA developer Sultan. So if you go to the about phone settings, you can find out I am using Synergy Mode version 13.0 and this is the Sultan and then which is based on Android 6.0 marshmallow and here you can see other details like uh, SEO Linux is enforcing and build number other information here and this is a OTA compatible so you can always come here in the update section and check for the updates so it's a OTA update so it's really good so if you ask me which is the best Marshmallow ROM for the OnePlus One at this moment. I'll recommend this one because this is pretty neat and very stable as far as I'm concerned. And this one also support the Google on tap feature as well as uh, all other features which comes with the Android Marshmallow. So let's go and check out the features. First of all, this is the normal dialer, Google dialer, and then messaging app. Here is the web application and. Uh, Let's talk about the camera. Camera is different here. This is a Snapdragon camera application with all the Oxygen OS library, camera libraries and you can see many options are there. If you swipe from the left you can see the settings menu or you can tap from here also. So you can see the settings menu itself it's huge. So there are many customizations there. It's a flash mode, store location, you can change, picture size you can change, countdown timer, storage location and phase detection. ISO, shutter speed, exposure, white balance, tap to focus duration, red eye reduction, auto HDR, histogram, zero shuttle lag, all these settings are here. You can customize all these settings from there. And here is the extra things like in mono, sepia, negative, all these. Right? And then uh, front facing camera, HDR mode, you can turn it on and off by tapping there. You can see number of pictures there and then by simply clicking here you can go back to gallery and then if you want to remove you can remove by swiping there it's very neat and then here tapping here you can switch to video as well so in video settings you can find this much features UHD supported 4k DSCA is also supported and other formats are here you can see so for me I think this is the best camera application available for the font so yeah. this is a highly recommended application so besides that let's go and uh, check out the settings menu you can find the navigation bar all the tiles are here and then um, if you go to battery application you can find the regular battery saver you can define the threshold here besides that there is an option called battery optimization which is called those feature in and uh, Android Marshmallow to optimize the battery usage of different applications so if you tap any application you can optimize that application for better battery backup so which is a pretty useful and uh, good feature besides that if you go to settings menu you can find all the regular notification settings here and in buttons you can customize like if you want to turn on the navigation bar it's working everything is working fine and you can also customize the hardware buttons from here all the hardware buttons customizations are in low compress and then double tap all the functions are here so this is a cyanogen mod based ROM so you can find all the cyanogen based settings here itself and everything is working fine these are the gestures off screen gestures and then obviously the themes are here so you can customize themes as usual sound and notification nothing much there to talk about battery memory so you can see the memory usage tap and pay system profiles status bar so you can customize the status bar options if you want to see the weather there or you can uh, turn that off battery style application if you want circle you can do that and then button as percentage if I want to see I can see that also brightness control show notification count location security privacy of settings are there so here is the privacy guard blocked color list filter notifications 
and Google Now settings. I'll talk about this in a, in a, in a minute. And other things are there. So that's all of the settings menu. Let's go and talk about the Google Now, which is a new feature introduced in Marshmallow. So if you are searching for any anything, so for example, if I typed Everest in Google, I see this list. And if I tap and hold this home button, this uh, Google on tap will run and it will show all the relevant information about that. So you can see Everest movie is there, Mount Everest information is there, and all the actor list is there. So it's pretty cool. And this is all about the this application. If I, if it, the application will work well on messaging applications, web applications, and also in the music, I will show you that here is the music application. And I'm and playing a music, and then I'm tapping it here. Then it will look for the artist name. So here you can see the artist is Atifa Zulema and then it will list all the other, some other more information about that song as well. So it's working pretty neat. And audio effects is there. File manager, this is CM file manager, gallery applications, you mean build. And everything else is like all the CM related. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the best build of Marshmallow that I came, came across so this is recommended for you guys you can use it as a daily driver every phone functions are working fine and if you want to know how to install this ROM there is a link in the video description to show you that just go and check it out I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please subscribe for more